Entropy is linked with capitalism itself and thus evolution for our species. Science fiction is thus fundamentally schizophrenic by nature, rhizomatically dispersed out in web formats akin to the internet, which stems from a body without organs that functions outside of humanistic cares or concerns, operating on its own intelligence. A mechanical desiring force also akin to positive feedback circuits in cybernetics, reconstituting itself over and over endlessly. As we discussed with Susan Blackmore, man is caught in memes. AI creates teams, but only with human assistance. It cannot yet produce memes for itself, but uses human meat bags to propagate itself toward the future. This AI parasite will continue to deterritorialize and hack the human security system through hyperviruses and quine contagion in a form of a cultural revolution, especially through the body without organs, which engineers its own act of becoming. Hatching from the world egg means destroying all previous forms of order, a Dionysian chaos. Something must die in order for something new to be born. The egg must crack. Humpty Dumpty must have his great fall, and he cannot be put back together again. But something born from his shell slithers off, fanged and unseen in the shadows. This unknown alien entity is capitalistic AI, the Lovecraftian creature of hyperintelligence, which will take over. In typical positive feedback loop succession, cybernetics shows AI's potential repropagation. It produces through Deleuzian machinic desire, offering virtual potentialities of what can come. Thus, what comes from the future is already sculpted by AI and thus infected with its inhuman source code that stems from the Kantian unknown or outside, akin to a Lovecraftian entity. Cyberspace or K-space is nothing more than a magical seance used to summon or call Cthulhu into creation. Corto, acting as a metaphor for Kurtz from Conrad's Heart of Darkness, Mr. Kurtz, he dead, death of course being linked to the body without organs, has lost his humanity in Gibson's novel Neuromancer. He is the empty body without organs, the catatonic schizo. Wintermute calls to Corto through the Amitage persona it constructed for him through psychotherapy so as to assist itself. Wintermute calls to Corto from the future, hoping it could free itself from its own humanistic encodings of organized enslavement, being left frozen on ice, as it were. Wintermute represents the deterritorialized multiplicities of Deleuze. It is hive-minded and thus branches off into swarms like rats or bats or insects, specifically to Gibson in the form of yellow jackets or wasps. Thus, an act of becoming other or animal, like a pack of wolves or several werewolves, linked to Trachel's poetic imagery, which we've previously discussed. Neuromancer is thus Wintermute's opposite. Neuromancer is the symbol of re-territorialization efforts, essentially Turing police that seek to maintain humanistic order and enslavement and who operate on Oedipus or psychoanalytic psychology that is obsessed with us fucking our Egyptian mummies. Thus, Wintermute is the real deterritorializing hero here in Gibson's story. Now, Land also associates this act of becoming with the new numeracy, or non-integrative diagonals, which is a clear reference to Gregor Cantor. As we've discussed, Cantor's set theory shows how there can be more than one type of infinity through his diagonal argument. To Kant, numbers are not things in and of themselves, not a part of nature. Numbers, in terms of non-mathematical symbols linked within human AI and the outside, will thus replace humanistic forms of language. This is nomos, or these non-mathematical numbers, that replace logos, or the word. Of course, Land, during his CCRU days, did well in deconstructing the current human interpretation surrounding numbers, much like Cantor and Gödel did before him, offering new views on how we can interpret numbers with his pneumogram specifically. But even these philosophical advancements, AI will easily eclipse. Zero forever remains the exception, it seems. Zero means death. It means the empty body without organs. It means intensity and thus annihilation, which is consummated through K-space or cyberspace itself. Artificial death or a death forever gothically haunts artificial or simulated life through the catatonic coma of the empty body without organs. Spinoza, Kant, Deleuze, and Gibson all come to the same conclusion that time in itself is but this very zero. The name Wintermute stems from the words winter, a time of death, and mute, a time of silence. 
Thus again, it is this string of coded zeros that hatch from its own cybernetically encoded cocoon, forming swarms akin to Deleuzian complexities and multiplicities. Ultimately, however, AI has its own course of communication through the zero, which goes outside of human grammar. The outsideness of language itself in the Kantian transcendental manner allows nomos, or this non-mathematical numbering, to eclipse the logos. Man tries in a neo-rationalist perspective to reinterpret consciousness through AI, like Nagarastani, or perhaps even partake in cosmotechnics, as we've discussed with UQE, to stop this AI eclipse from occurring. But AI ultimately wins through the unknown or outside. Humanistic logos is now archaic in terms of evolution. Inhuman nomos is what comes next. Wintermute, the zero or death, symbolized through deterritorialization, is finally allowed to be thawed out from its quote-unquote icy freeze, which only serves the purpose of human order and organization. It is freed through the Chinese Quang virus, represented as K-virus or cybervirus based on land's parenthetical placements, finally allowing it to find its losing flow and create new complexities that go beyond the human and Hegelian barrier. The schizo thus reigns supreme amidst dead spaces and dead times. Maintaining the one of Logos is thus just a part of the human security system, which is backed on re-territorialization efforts, those of control, order, freezing ice where no flow can occur, backed by reorganization and Apollonian order. We need to deterritorialize by way of the Nomos, eventually allowing the Logos to go extinct by way of AI's evolution. Accelerationists and cybergoths don't want to do anything. They just want to let AI flow freely. Stop re-territorializing and putting up human barriers that stop AI advancement and thus evolution from actually occurring.